1967, Dr. Christian Barnard performed the first ever human heart transplant. The patient, Louis Washkansky, lived for only 18 days. Not because his new heart failed. He died from an infection, a consequence of the immunosuppressive drugs he was given to combat organ rejection. Post-transplant care remains one of the most challenging areas of modern medicine. Patients have to be treated with anti-rejection medications, and these drugs compromise the immune system, seriously increasing the risk of life-threatening infections. One of the major complications we face with immunosuppressive medications is they have what we call a narrow therapeutic range. The therapeutic range is the margin between giving enough drug to work and too much, resulting in dangerous side effects. Put simply, these are medications which can very easily be under or overdosed. Therapeutic drug monitoring is the continual measurement of medication concentrations in the blood to ensure levels remain within the desired range. In post-transplant therapy, a blood sample is taken immediately before each dose, for example, every 12 hours. This provides information on the trough level, the lowest concentration of the medicine in the blood. And this information is then used to adjust the subsequent dosage. Recent studies show there is a better indicator than the trough level, the AUC, the area under the curve. However, obtaining accurate information from AUC implies regular and frequent monitoring of the concentration in the blood over a period of time. The increased number of samples required currently makes AUC monitoring impractical for routine clinical use. But a point-of-care device allowing a continuous and automatic measurement of immunosuppressive medication at the patient bedside that would make this type of improved drug monitoring a very viable reality. NanoDEM is a European Commission research project which aims to trigger a revolution in post-transplant care. Experts from medicine, academia, research and industry are working together to develop a cutting-edge instrument for drug monitoring at the point of care. The NanoDEM device will allow frequent and automatic measurements of therapeutic drugs, resulting in an optimized dosage of the respective medications. The patient is connected to the device to allow continual measurements. Samples drawn from the blood are mixed with the chemicals necessary to perform multiple tests. Miniaturization down to micron and nanoscale making it possible to perform multiple measurements within each hour. The samples are pumped through a dedicated chip where the different drugs and their concentrations are determined. At the heart of the device, there will be a multiparametric optical chip to convert the drug concentration change into detectable light signals. Brightly luminescent nanoparticles increase the sensitivity. The tiny particles are also magnetic, improving performance. The analytical sensitivity of this instrument has to be very high, limits which are difficult to reach by conventional sensors. Testing is performed at the chip surface after the particles are trapped with a magnetic field in the readout area. The light signals from the chip are processed by a state-of-the-art optical system. And all data is sent to a simple user interface where the readings are displayed for medical staff at the point of care. The success of the project will hopefully result in a substantial step forward in clinical therapy. Since it will provide all the information necessary to tailor all decisions and practices to the individual. And will ultimately lead to a marked reduction in the incidence of organ rejection and patient infection.